Acetazolamide is a carbonic anhydrase inhibitor used to treat edema from heart failure or medications, certain types of epilepsy, and glaucoma. In this video, let's find found. What is acetazolamide? What is acetazolamide used for? Contraindication. What are the side effects of taking acetazolamide? How does acetazolamide work? How to use acetazolamide? What is acetazolamide? Acetazolamide, sold under the trade name Diamox among others, is a medication used to treat glaucoma, epilepsy, altitude sickness, periodic paralysis, idiopathic intracranial hypertension, heart failure, and to alkalinize urine. Acetazolamide came into medical use in 1952. It is on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines. Acetazolamide is available as a generic medication. What is acetazolamide used for? For adjunctive treatment of edema due to congestive heart failure, drug-induced edema, centrencephalic epilepsies, chronic simple, open angle, glaucoma. Contraindication Contraindications include Hyperchloremic acidosis Hypokalemia, low blood potassium Hyponatremia, low blood sodium Adrenal insufficiency Impaired kidney function Hypersensitivity to acetazolamide or other sulfonamides Marked liver disease or impairment of liver function including cirrhosis, because of the risk of development of hepatic encephalopathy. Acetazolamide decreases ammonia clearance. Side effects Common adverse effects of acetazolamide include the following, paresthesia, fatigue, drowsiness, depression, decreased libido, bitter or metallic taste, nausea, vomiting, abdominal cramps, diarrhea, black stool, polyuria, kidney stones, metabolic acidosis, and electrolyte changes, hypokalemia, hyponatremia. Whereas less common adverse effects include Stevens, Johnson syndrome, anaphylaxis, and blood dyscrasias. Pharmacodynamic. Acetazolamide is a potent carbonic anhydrase inhibitor, effective in the control of fluid secretion, in the treatment of certain convulsive disorders, and in the promotion of diuresis in instances of abnormal fluid retention. Acetazolamide is not a mercurial diuretic. Rather, it is a non-bacteriostatic sulfonamide possessing a chemical structure and pharmacological activity distinctly different from the bacteriostatic sulfonamides. Mechanism of Action The anticonvulsant activity of acetazolamide may depend on a direct inhibition of carbonic anhydrase in the CNS, which decreases carbon dioxide tension in the pulmonary alveoli thus increasing arterial oxygen tension. The diuretic effect depends on the inhibition of carbonic anhydrase, causing a reduction in the availability of hydrogen ions for active transport in the renal tubule lumen. This leads to alkaline urine and an increase in the excretion of bicarbonate, sodium, potassium, and water. Half-life 3 to 9 hours Dose Glaucoma Closed angle, acute congestive, glaucoma. 500 mg, PO-4, followed by 125 to 250 mg, POQ4HR. Sustained release, 500 mg, POQ12HR. Open angle, chronic, simple, glaucoma. 250 mg 1 g PO-4 Q day, or divided Q6-12HR, sustained release. 500 mg PO, Q12 HR. Secondary glaucoma. 500 mg PO-4, follow 125 to 250 mg PO, Q4 HR. Sustained release, 500 mg PO, Q12 HR. Acute altitude sickness. Immediate release, 500-1000 mg slash day, PO divided Q8 DAF HR. Extended release, 500 to 1000 mg, PO, Q12-24 HR, congestive heart failure. CHF associated edema. 250 to 375 mg, 5 mg per kilogram, POQAM, seizure. 
30 mg slash kg slash day POQ day or divided Q12 HR. Drug induced edema. 250 to 375 mg PO slash 4Q day. Epilepsy. Tablet, 8 to 30 mg slash kg slash day POQ day or divided Q6 12 HR, not to exceed 30 mg per kilogram per day or 1 G slash day. Extended release capsule, not recommended. Safety advice. US FDA pregnancy category C. Animal reproduction studies have shown an adverse effect on the fetus and there are no adequate and well-controlled studies in humans, but potential benefits may warrant use of the drug in pregnant women despite potential risks. That's all the information about acetazolamide we collected. Thanks for listening. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe for the HeInfo channel if you like this video to update more health information.